to a new tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to connect your professional email to Gmail or any other platform like Outlook or Thunderbird or any other platform to host your emails or to manage your emails. First we need to go to get the details we need to connect our professional email to an external platform. So we need to go either to knowledge base or we can go to help and go to support and, and get it from, from there as well. We can go to knowledge page and click on any of this. We can go to knowledge page. And here we're going to type SMTP. And it's going to pop up the first option. What are the SMTP settings to configure email settings? So we need to use the first one. If you're going to connect your email to Android to receive your emails, you can use this one as well. This is the only for, for desktop version and this is the for Android or iPhone versions. Okay, so this, this tutorial is only for um, desktop versions, so we're going to use the first one. Once here, you can see that we have all the information we need to connect a professional email to Gmail. Now we need to go to Gmail and go to settings up here. And then we need to click on see all settings. So we can go to settings of my Gmail. Then we need to go to accounts, accounts and, imp and import. Here we can add the email that I want to set up or my importation. So you can see send email has and check email from other accounts. Okay, so we need to use the first one. You can see add another email address. So we're going to click over there. And it's going to pop up this one. I'm going to add a professional email that I already have connected or created in my professional email. In case you didn't create this email yet, you can go to apps and then go to professional emails. Okay, let's go back to, let's go back to Gmail, to my window. This is another window that is opening. So I'm going to type my email and then I click on next. Then it's asking me for my SMTP server, my username and my password and a port. So we're going to go to my knowledge base and we can check here why, uh, what is my, my SMTP server. So if we check the guide, the little guide here, it says for a, a quick way to find out where your emails were migrated to, simply access this website and enter your domain. So we're going to copy this, open a new tab. And pass it over there so we can open this new website they're telling us to open. You will see a result like this. So first we need to type our domain, which is design GA. Click on search. You can see that we have uh, a similar options here that is appearing here. The XX means the number of your domain server. You can see that the number the domain server they added here is five, but on my domain is two. So I have to copy all this. I don't need to copy ten or the two dots. I just need to copy the, the server. Okay. Then I can go back to my window and I can pass it here my SMTP server. The SMTP server are very variable. So the dom depending on domain you type here is the domain server. Now we need the port for the SMTP. So we need to go back to uh, our knowledge base. Let's scroll up and we need the first one. Okay. You can see that it's asking me my SMTP server. So the port should be 465 or 5A7. So I'm going to use 465. My contacts should be the same, username and the passwords have to be the same, the professional email. Okay, you have to make sure that the username and password matches. Okay, 
it's asking us for a security a security secure connection SSL or TLS so we're gonna use the first one which is recommended by Google and let's click on added account it is it's gonna send an email to this so we can put it over here and then it will be ver verified on Gmail so just last the last step will be apps the professional email then we need to go to view, view all emails click on my domain and then here it is my domain here it is my professional email and my domain so and I have to click access webmail So here I just need to I just need to uh, basically wait for the email that I should receive from Gmail so I can verify my I can verify it. Uh, let me see. I think I'll look at it on the wrong email. It have to be contact. This is the right one. So you can see that I already received a Gmail confirmation. And if we look over here we have the confirmation code. so I just need to copy it go back to my window and put it over here and click verify that's it so we have to go back to Gmail and we can see that I have my contact marketing design GA connected to Gmail which is perfect I can also make it default so when I reply or when I create new emails it will, it will use this email address as a default, okay, as a professional email in case you want to use it over here in Gmail. Another example I can give you is we, if we go to Windows and go to Outlook. Then I need to go to File and add a new account. So I have to go to Account Settings. You can see here, Account Settings, Account Settings, and here I can add my 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 email. I'm gonna remove it so I can add it again. So I have to create a new and go to Advanced Options and select Let me set up my account manually, so I can add my my professional email manually here on Outlook. I have to type my domain. Which is marketing design GA connect and it's gonna ask me for the same details that I use on Gmail for SMTP port and the SMTP server which we already know by doing the doing the guide over here the same SMTP and the SMTP server but here we need to make we need to make use of IMAP and POP3 and the three port that is giving me here. So let's go back to Outlook and just wait for this to be over. Once it's done, we can see several options here. So I'm gonna use POP. And here it's asking me for a server. So I have to go back to DNS checker and just copy my server, which is this one. Let's go back to Gmail and we go pass it over here. Oops. Let's copy it again. Let's go back to Outlook and put it over here. The server and the port. You can see that this is POP. Okay, so we need to use the port for POP and the incoming mail. So if we go back to knowledge, you can see that we're using POP, POP. Okay, and the incoming server. So we have to make sure make sure to use 995 because if I'm using IMAP and the incoming server is IMAP, it have to be 993. So I just have to go back to Outlook and change this to 995, which is this one. Let's go back to Outlook. Let's check this one and let's check this one. Okay. And the outgoing email is have to be the same that is outgoing mail. This is the incoming server where is you're receiving your email and this is the outgoing email. So since you're hosting your emails here, it, it is the same. Now, on the outgoing mail, if we go back to knowledge base, you can see that the outgoing server is the same 
in the SMTP port is 465 or 587. Since on Gmail I tested this one and it works, so I'm going to try this on Outlook as well. So I'm going to put 465. The encryption method it will be you, you can choose SL, TLS, start, and you're just going to choose auto. Click on this one and click on next. The password for my email, a professional email, I'm just going to click on next. Now we just need to wait for Outlook to finish his setup and it will be added here so I can start using my professional email here on Outlook. If for some reason fails, you just need to, you just need to go back and try this port instead because many platforms, that's why you, we use two, two ports because many platforms don't support this type of port and they only use this one so you have the two choices here okay so now we just need to wait for Outlook you can see now that now it's finished and you can see that I added my, my email POP here is my professional email as another email address if I want to add a, a new one I just click on done you can see that I already have my professional email here and if I want to set up as default you have to click up here set up default and we'll be changing it up, up here and I will be using this email on my Outlook to send my professional emails or my emails from here. Thank you for watching this video and I, I think this will be very useful for everyone. If you have any questions, just leave up the comment. Just don't forget to subscribe.